prank you this time. <laughs> On break before I did my video. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. Um, this video. Uh, is this for you, Gordon? Seriously? Oh. <sighs> Fine. At least I'm prepared. <laughs> sorry, sorry for that. Hello everybody and welcome to Great Math number 21 with me. Now, <laughs> today is our first video in percents. Uh, or a second. I'm not really sure. Go check for yourselves. I'm gonna try to remember for the next video. But anyways, back to what we're looking for. Today is, we're going to do problems from percentage, for percent. Now, now our first problem is, hmm, yeah, our first problem is this. One student named Antoinette gets se you can read it. You can read it. gets 70% of the answers correct in a 10 problem answer. 80% in, in a 20 problem questionnaire and 90% and in a 30 problem questionnaire. If all these tests were combined into a 60 problem questionnaire, how many problems will she get right? Well, another optical illusion problem. They just use the m numbers to make it look difficult, but but you, but you didn't believe what is in reality. In reality, it's not really hard. It's easy. Super duper easy. Now, Now, before we figure out the rest of this problem, I'm going to figure out how many percent is for 60, we need to figure out the percents for each, because... Alright, but don't try this at home, because... But, but don't just, don't try this at home, because this is what you're not supposed to do. Because theoretically, you might want to add up all all the percents, 70 plus 80, which you think will might be 150, 8 plus 90, 9, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, yeah, but, 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 according to test standards, 240% is not possible. Not possible. That, that is a bogus solution. What we're really looking for is the numbers of the percent, then divided by 60. Then, round it to the nearest whole percent number. You'll see why in a minute. Now anyways, so first, so 10 times 0 0.7 is 7, possibly because I already know. Then 20 times 0 0.8 is, hmm, alright, so 0, then 6. 16 and then 30 times 0 0.9 is 27. What is it? 27. What does it represent? This represents 90 percent. This represents 80 percent, and this represents 70 percent. Okay, but what is 7, 16, and 27? What does it represent? The, what do they represent? Mhm. Mm the percent. You mean 7%, 16%, and 27%? Yeah. 
Yeah. Or seven answer correct, sixteen answer correct. Sixteen answer correct. How, all right, all right, all right. But let's just move on. What we need to do next is that we need to add all of these up. Which means 16 plus 7 is 23. And then, if I add 27, it is 50. Now, all we just need to do, we just need to divide it by 60. Which, of course, cannot be, you're not, you need to figure out how to divide it by decimal. So therefore, zero point, hmm, or by decimal starting, then hmm, eight, which is minus 480, which is 20, then add a zero. And then I, then I add a three minus one. 180, which is equal to 20, and then I add a zero. <laughs> By this point, I actually realize that it's going to keep on doing freeze. No matter how many freeze I place, it's still going to be the same thing. So, therefore, all we just need to do place the infinite line above the free, and then burn it into a percent, which is 8.3, no, 83.3 infinite. Okay, eh, okay, I have a question for you. The first one is, what does represent 7, 16, and 27, and 60? What does it represent? 7, 27, 16, and... No, yeah, 7, 16, and 27, and then also 60, what does it represent? I don't know. What is that? Or does it represent? Yeah. What it means? This Seven. This, re this percent represents the total that Antoinette got. Will overall get for for these combined into a sixty. Oh, hold on, hold on. Then seven represents that she answered seven question correctly at the first test. That's what it means, or not? Well, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways. Back to the point, we just need to convert this into, we just need to round this. <laughs> I bet probably if you're in uh, third or fourth grade, you might know, you might be learning rounding by now, but, <laughs> but to let you know, I'm going to explain you what is rounding. Rounding, rounding is one part of estimation that help that helps which number the number is nearest to well but let, let's say for example the answer one two three four five the number twelve thousand and three hundred forty five you want to round to the nearest Nearest thousand. So therefore, you look at three. If it's if it's below five, it, this number still stays the same. But if this is five and above, which is five to nine, you have to add one to this number. So therefore, rounded this, this will equal one twelve thousand, and that is our and that. What is it? Can you read? I cannot read. Twelve. Oh, oops, sorry. But anyways, that's... What is the third number of your... Twelve, and then? Well, that well, that's all. Well, no, 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 twelve. Oh, but I... Number oh, here? But, well, this was supposed to be three, four, five. All right, but that's just the whole concept of... Well, what I think? After you run the number, you're supposed to clear everything else that's... From the number that you want to round by. And that basically is rounding. Now back to the problem. We want to round to the nearest whole percent number. So therefore we'll 
I'm ready for this. And then this is not up, not below, and uh, not above five. So therefore, it's just gonna stay as eight, eighty-three. It's not above seventy-five or five. Not above seventy-five or five. Yeah, if it's above seventy-five, that you run to the top. If it's under seventy-five, you don't run to the top. Is that correct or not? I don't know. You tell me. I thought it was 75, the number you run from the top. It... Oh no, you're right. I think you're right. You're correct. I'm sorry, it's me. Oh, alright. It's just, it's just what you thought, cameraman. But anyways, that's, a, that's, a, that's actually my answer. 83%. Okay, alright. Now we're on to the next problem. Can you tell? Can you read? What is the next program? Mm. Oh yeah. Sale prices at Ajax outlet store are fifty percent less than than the original price. Slide days. They have an additional twenty percent discount. Now what? Now how? There was a salary price of a coat that's originally eight, one hundred and eighty dollars. That is an easy one. Like, letting go of it. Well, it's a case. But anyways. In order to solve that, we need to go for this. Mm. Yeah. Show me, show me. Oh, hold, hold the book, hold the book. Hold it. I'm going to try to zoom. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Can you show me the page? Um, yeah, but to let you know, the problem that I did earlier and the two other problems that I'm going to do later are from the pre algebra book. Sadly, while reviewing for the problems, I accidentally broke the cover. Okay, can you show me the other side? 837, that's what it is? Yep, Can you show it to me? Can you show me? Can I, can I read with the camera? Yeah, sure can, man. Okay, 837. Alright. Read it, show me. Okay, can you show me? All right. Since oh, oh no. oh, Saturday, yeah. what is the Saturday price of coal? Coal price. Okay, that's good. Go ahead. Yeah, but anyways, back to the point. It says that. If you want a coat that is 180 on Saturday, <coughs> well, it's 50% of it. Well, simply, it's just nine, $90. And if you subtract it, so well, that's what the price after 50% is? Yeah, but that's what it's supposed to do. Mo mm, most guys will actually just mm, think of just. Multiplying percents, but that's just all bogus. What we're really looking for is to subtract from the original price to figure out how was the price on Saturday. So therefore, what we're now looking, what we're now looking at is its regular price, which is ninety dollars. But on Saturday, it's much more safe. It so this times 0 0.2 is $18. So therefore, we have to subtract $18 to equal $72. And that is our Saturday price. Okay, so Saturday we got 50% discount? No, no. Saturday it's a 80. It's probably more like a 80% discount. Well, just because it's 
on reg on regular days other than Saturday it is just fifty percent. Okay, that's good. Okay, continue. Now for the last problem. Really challenging for the mind. Alright. If X find X if if twenty percent of X of means multiply. If tw if twenty percent of x is equal to twelve percent of of x plus twenty. All right. Now now again another uh, well to let you know before I did this problem, it took me a little while for me to do it. Ten. 841, is that right? Find x if 20% of x is um, equal to 12%. Um, I, I already said the problem. Oh, sorry. So, and you also then have to read my script. You can't. Because if you, di if you did that too. If you actually do that one more time, I'm going to suspend you for two videos. Alright, but anyways, back to the problem. Then we go to 20 divided by 100. Um, we just convert these percents into over 100 because percent is means per 100. Yeah, so therefore we just multiply by x equals 12 divided by 100 times x plus 200. I'm at 20. Sorry, my bad. 20. Now, now we just need to multiply 100 by each side. And we just take out the whole thing. Just um, the whole denominator. Then it becomes 20 times x equals 12 times x plus 20. Then this becomes 20 x equals 12x plus 240. Then we need to ex subtract 12x from each side. Then it's 20x minus 12x equals 240. Then it equals, then it equals 8x equals 240. Then we need to then we need to multiply one divided by eight by each side. Right. Oops. Let me just rewrite that. Then, then we cancel out the eight. Then it's just x equals two hundred forty divided by eight, which is x equals thirty. And that is our answer. Now, now to let you know that we actually figured out how to convert and do, do some of the most stunning, confusing optical, optical illusional problems. Figured out how to solve it and you know what to do next time if you run into problems like these. Now, this is great math, and that's all, folks. Oh. I can take this. Anybody who's